Hello everyone. Welcome back to Tales of Chemistry. Today we are continuing with chemical kinetics. In the last episode, you understood what is the meaning of word chemical kinetics. What do we understand by a rate of a reaction? What is the difference between instantaneous and average rate? Then what is the difference between, uh, you know, experimental rate of a reaction and the theoretical rate, then order of a reaction as well as rate constant. In today's episode, we are learning the units of rate constant and some numericals based on order of a reaction and finding out the rate law. Rate law is the experimental relationship between rate of a reaction and concentration of reactants. Now, let us first see whether we have a fixed unit for um, K, that is a rate constant. Yeah. So let us begin with a zero order reaction. What is the actual meaning of zero order reaction? Zero order reaction means the rate of the reaction is independent of the initial concentration. Okay, rate is not at all depending on the concentration of the reactant. That is a zero order reaction. Now, the expression for rate of a zero order reaction is R is equal to K into A to the power of zero. I hope you remember for a reaction of the type AA plus BP giving products, the rate was K into A to the power of X into B to the power of Y. X plus Y is called the order of the reaction. Here, X plus Y is equal to zero. Zero order reaction meaning X plus Y is equal to zero. Now, what I have done is, instead of taking two reactants, A and B, only one reactant is taken, that is A. So, R is equal to K into A to the power of zero. Order is zero. Now, any number to the power of zero is equal to one. So, this becomes R is equal to K. Now, unit of K is therefore the unit of R. And all of us know the unit of rate of a reaction. A rate of a reaction is unit is mole per liter per second or per minute, whatever. Here in general, I have written mole per liter per time. Moving on to a first order reaction. How is a first order reaction represented? R is equal to K into A to the power of 1. Order of the reaction is 1, which is written as R is K into A. Now, from this, K will be R by A, concentration of A. Now, therefore, unit of K, unit of rate constant should be unit of rate divided by the unit for concentration. Now, R is mole per liter per time. So, I am writing time instead of second or minute or hour. Okay. So, mole per liter per time by mole per liter of which we can cancel this. So, what remains there is time Per time, right here, per time or time to the power minus one, time inverse. So, for a first order reaction, the unit of K is time inverse, time to the power of minus one. Now, what did we, um, you know, discuss in the beginning? 
do we have a fixed unit for rate constant? Now, considering the zero and the first order reaction, you understood that there is no fixed unit for rate constant. Unit of rate constant will vary with respect to the type of reaction or order of the reaction. Now, for a second order reaction, R is equal to K into A to the power of 2. And K should be R by A square. Unit of R, mole per liter per time. Then this A square, what I have done now is, I wrote that as A into A. So that this cancellation of mole per liter becomes easy. All right. Unit of R is mole per liter. Then unit of A, concentration, mole per liter. There is one more A. So another mole per liter remains. One got cancelled. Now, here, um, this per time remains. Then one by mole, that is mole to the power minus one. One by Okay, this per liter is something like 1 by L to the power minus 1, which becomes a L. Okay, so that's how I have written mole to the power minus 1 into L liter. So, mole to the power minus 1 liter time, per time. Instead of writing like this, you can also write liter per mole per time. Liter mole inverse time inverse. That way also you can write the unit for a second order reaction. I mean unit of rate constant for a second order reaction. Finally, for nth order reaction, what if the order of the reaction is n? Then k is equal to that is unit of rate constant is mole to the power of 1 minus n, L to the power of n minus 1, time inverse. Now, let's have a quick check. Since second order reaction is easily available, let's check this with a second order reaction. n is equal to 2. So, when n is equal to 2, 1 minus n will be 1 minus 2, which is minus 1. And n minus 1 will be 2 minus 1, which is 1. Now, this 1 minus n is mole to the power of 1 minus n, correct? And L, this part, L to the power of 1 minus n minus 1 and time inverse. Okay, so let me now substitute mole to the power of 1 minus n as minus 1, L to the power of n minus 1 as 1 and time inverse. Is it correct? Mole to the power of minus 1, yes. L, L to the power 1, yeah, which is correct. Time inverse, time inverse. So, this final statement or, sorry, final uh, relation which you are studying or unit which you are seeing here, K is equal to mole to the power of 1 minus N, L to the power N minus 1, Time inverse, this has to be by hearted. And if you study this, any other order, if asked, you can substitute for N and easily find out the unit for a rate constant. You can expect one question from what we have studied now. All right. Now, each uh, unit say unit for zero order or first order, etc., will be just a half mark question. Now, let's begin with numericals. Look at this question. A study of chemical kinetics of the reaction A plus B giving P, P means products, gave the 
following data at 25 degrees Celsius. So 25 degrees Celsius is just to tell us that the temperature is kept constant or this is the temperature at which the reaction is performed. Yeah. Now, under experiment number one, okay, I have taken or they have taken a one mole per liter. Okay, one mole per liter of A and 0 0.15 mole per liter of B. Then they got D by DT of product. What is that D by DT of product? That's nothing but rate of the reaction. D by DT of product means rate of the reaction. So, one relation what they have given us when A, concentration of A is 1 and B is 0 0.15, 4.2 into 10 to the power minus 6 is the rate. Similarly, as the concentration of A and B is changing, the rate also changes. So, such three situations are given. You need to find out the order with respect to A, with respect to B, and finally the rate law. So, first of all, let me write R1. So, since this is the first experiment, the rate obtained here, let me call it R1. So, R1 is 4.2. 2 into 10 to the power minus 6, but the relation should be rate is k into a to the power of, say, x into b to the power of y. This is the rate law. Now, let me substitute the values. What is R1? 4.2. 10 to the power minus 6. I don't know the value of k. Then a is 1. This to the power of x. b is 0 0.15 to the power of y. Then let me call this equation 1 or relation 1. Moving on, r2. The second case, let this be R2. Now, if you wish to take the third one as R2, that's up to you. So, R2 is K into, again, A to the power of X into B to the power of Y. So, here K into 2 to the power of X into 0 0.15 to the power of y. Let me call this equation number 2. Now, see in equation 1 and equation 2, the B terms are together. So, we are actually looking for this. Either the A term need to be the same or the B term need to be the same. So here, luckily, we got the B terms the same. Okay, now I forgot to write this value. 8.4 into 10 to the power minus 6. Now, you know, I'm dividing equation 2 by equation 1, which means 8.4, 10 to the power minus 6 divided by 4.2, 10 to the power minus 6 is equal to k into 2 to the power of x into 0.15 to the power of y by k into 1 to the power of x, 0.15 to the power of y. Now, solve this. 8.4 by 4.2. 10 to the power minus 6 will definitely get cancelled. And 8.4 by 4.2 is equal to 2. K and K are cancelling. 0 0.15, 0 0.15. Both to the power of Y that gets cancelled. So what remains there now is 2 is equal to 
2 to the power of x. What is 2? When, I, when we just write 2, that means 2 to the power of 1. So from this, x is equal to 1. So you got your first answer. Order with respect to a is equal to 1. Now, R3 is to be written. Going back to the question, R3 is 5.6 into 10 to the power minus 6. Concentration of A is 1. Concentration of B is 0.2. So, coming back to this, R is once again A to the power of X into B to the power of Y. So, 5.6 into 10 to the power minus 6 is K, uh, 1 to the power of X and 2, sorry, 0 0.2 to the power of Y. Let us call this equation 3. Now, equation 1 and 3, when you compare, both 1 and 3 have the same concentration term for A. Same value for the concentration term A. So, here R3 by R1 which is 5.6 into 10 to the power minus 6 by 4.2 into 10 to the power minus 6 is equal to k into 1 to the power of x, 0 0.2 to the power of y by k into 1 to the power of x, 0 0.15 to the power of y. Alright, so when you divide 5.6 by 4.2, yeah, you can use your calculator and check this, you are getting 1.33. Similarly, when you divide 0.2 by 0.15, these terms are getting cancelled, right? So 0.2 by 0.15 is also luckily 1.33 with this to the power of y. So here it is to the power of 1, right? Therefore, y is also equal to 1. You got your second answer as well. Order with respect to b is 1. Now, overall order, overall order of the reaction will be order with respect to A plus order with respect to B, which is equal to 2. Now, finally, the rate law. What is the rate law? R is equal to K into A to the power of X into B to the power of Y. So here, R is K into a to the power of 1 into B to the power of 1. So we are substituting for X and Y. That's all what we are doing. R is K into A to the power of 1 into B to the power of 1. Okay, so you can pause and copy down the question as well as the solution. Now, Let's move to the next question. For the reaction, 2H2 plus 2NO gives you 2H2O plus N2. The following data was obtained. Experiment 1, 2, 3. Concentration of NO in mole per liter. Concentration of hydrogen in mole per liter. And in the last column, the rate is given. Okay. So, first of all, Let's read the question. Overall order, which means order with respect to A, order with respect to B. Uh, A plus B. Now, rate law. Then value of rate constant K. Okay, so that is something new that we are doing here. Anyway, now, 
R1 is equal to n naught to the power of x. Since they have given the terms here, instead of a and b, they have given n naught and h2. So let us use that n naught to the power of x and h2 to the power of y. So r1, 4.6 into 10 to the power minus 3 is k into n no 0.4 to the power of x and uh, h2 also 0.4 to the power of y. Let me call it equation 1. Then r2, okay, which is now I'm skipping this step directly writing 18.4 into 10 to the power minus 3 is k into 0 0.8 to the power of x into 0 0.4 to the power of y, which is equation 2. Now, again, if I divide 2 by 1, now why will I divide 2 by 1? Because I'm aware that the y terms are the same or the concentration with respect to hydrogen are the same. So y will be cancelled and thus I can calculate order with respect to A. That is x can be calculated. Now substituting 18.4 into 10 to the power minus 3 by 4.6 into 10 to the power minus 3 is equal to the common terms I'm skipping. So I'm straight away writing the final one. 0.8 by 0.4 to the power of x. So first of all, we need to divide 18.4 by 4.6. That will give you 4. 4 is equal to 2 to the power of x. So how can I rewrite 4? Okay, 4 can be written as 2 to the power of 2, 2 square. 2 square is equal to 2 to the power of x. Therefore, x is equal to 2. You got your first answer. I mean, here, overall order is the question. So, part of the first question, you got the answer. X is equal to 2. Now, then let's write R3, the third equation. In the third equation, the rate given was 9.2. 9.2 into 10 to the power minus 3 is equal to k into, let us check, uh, 4.4 and 0.8, k into 0 0.4 to the power of x, 0 0.8 to the power of y. This is equation 3. 1 and 3, you must compare now. Okay, now 1 and 3, when you compare, what happens is the um, A terms are the same. Yeah, so equation 3 divided by equation 1 gives you 9.2 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 4.6 into 10 to the power minus 3. Okay, that is k gets cancelled, the x uh, term or a to the power of x that is getting cancelled. So, uh, what remains now is 0 0.8 by 0 0.4 to the power of y. Now, what is 9.2 by 4.6? That is 2. 2 to the power of 1 is equal to 2 to the power of y. That is y is equal to 2. Your first question itself was, what is overall order of the reaction? Overall order is 2 plus 1. 
2 plus 1, 3. So this is a third order reaction. Now, next was how to write the rate law. Rate law is R is equal to K a to the power, sorry, here they have given us, it is N to, uh, I think, NO, right? NO and hydrogen. So, NO to the power of 2 and H2 to the power of 1. So, that is rate law. Last question was to find out the value of K. So take any one relation. Now, uh, say the same relation what you are seeing here can be uh, taken. All right. So from this, K is equal to, I am taking equation number 3. You can take equation 1, 2. Now, since on this slide, uh, equation 3 is available. So I am taking equation 3. So, let me write from equation 3, K is equal to 9.2 into 10 to the power minus 3 by 0 0.4 to the power of 2 into 0 0.8 to the power of 1. So, solve this. Right, 9.2, 10 to the power minus 3, then this is 0. 0.4 into 0. 0.4 into 0. 0.8. You can use your calculator and you will get the answer 71.85 into 10 to the power minus 3. Now, unit is compulsory. Okay, now unit of rate constant. This is a third order reaction. So what is that uh, general unit that we have studied? Mole to the power of 1 minus n, right? So uh, substitute it according to the formula. Mole to the power of n minus, uh, sorry, 1 minus n, that is minus 2, mole to the power of minus 2, it will be, then liter to the power of n minus 1, so 3 minus 1, that is 2, and per second. So the second I could figure out because here for rate it is given per second. So that's why I've written per second here. Okay, so this is question number two. Now the third one, last question, Reaction is A plus B gives you C plus D. Initial rate of different reactions uh, and initial concentration of reactants are given. Initial rate, that's the last column. And initial concentration of reactants. So that is concentration of A and B. About five experiments are conducted. Overall order and rate law has to be calculated. Okay, so now instead of writing all the five equations, what I'm doing is I will have to figure out, find out two relations in which A, sorry, A term is the same. So here A has one as concentration and the fourth one, if I take, there is also concentration of A is 1. So I can compare equation 1 and 4. Okay. Similarly, 1 and 2 can also be compared for, uh, you know, finding out the value of X. I can compare 1 and 2. So 1, 2 and 4 is what I will have to write here. So let's first of all look only at 1. A is 1, B is 1, and the rate is 2 into 10 to the power minus 3. So 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 is equal to K into 
a 1 to the power of x into 1 to the power of y. Let me call it equation 1. Then equation 2. Uh, 2, 1 and 4 into 10 to the power minus 3. So 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 is k into 2 to the power of x, 1 to the power of y. This is our equation number 2. Now 2 by 1, equation 2 by equation 1, 4 into 10 to the power minus 3, by 2 into 10 to the power minus 3, which, which is equal to 2, is k 2 to the power of x, 1 to the power of y, by k 1 to the power of x into 1 to the power of y. k and 1 to the power of y are getting cancelled. So 2 is equal to 2 to the power of x. Therefore, x is equal to 1. Now, the other equation that we marked was 4. In equation 4, uh, rate is 2 into 10 to the power minus 3. And the concentrations are 1 and 2 respectively. So let's try doing that. Um, 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 is equal to k into 1 to the power of x into 2 to the power of y. Let me call it 4 itself, not 3. Okay, now, I mean, if you wish to call it a 3, that is up to you. It's your choice. Now, 4 by 1, equation 4 by equation 1, which is 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 by 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 is equal to k 1 to the power of x into 2 to the power of y divided by k 1 to the power of x 1 to the power of y. Now here 1 right? 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 by 2 into 10 to the power minus 3. That is 1. K and K cancelled. 1 to the power of x by 1 to the power of x is again cancelled. So you have 2 to the power of y. Now, any number to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So now since I need the base the same, I'm rewriting 1 as 2 to the power of 0 because 2 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. 2 to the power of 0 is equal to 2 to the power of y, which means y is equal to 0. So in this question, Overall order. Overall order is 1 plus 0. That is 1. So this is a first order reaction. So how do you write the rate law? Rate law is R is equal to K into A to the power of X into B to the power of Y. R is K into A to the power of 1 into B to the power of 0. That is R is K into A to the power of 1. Or just write R is K into A. Okay, so that's all in this video. Thank you for watching. Please stay tuned.